Hi guys. So I thought I'd come on here today and tell you guys about hair. I've been getting so many questions about my hair because I just recently straightened it. Tell you guys what I've been doing. Of course I have my hair today in a ponytail. It's because my hair is oily today and I do not want to wear it down because it's just looking no um and here in Japan it's like very cold so I that's why I straighten my hair because usually when my hair is straight it's because I'm in a cold place and like I'm like 10 times warmer if my hair is straight versus curly because every day if my hair is curly, I wash my hair. Well, I don't wash it with shampoo, but I at least wet it or co-wash it. And then my hair is wet, and then I'm even colder outside. Um, but if my hair is straight, my hair comes down to my belly button. So, like a warm blanket over my head. Like, I'm ten times warmer if my hair is down. Once I straightened my hair, I bought the world's best straightener. Oh my gosh. Japan has, like, the best products in the world. And I bought the straightener, and I nothing's ever straightened my hair like that has before. Um, but it's also the products I've been using. So, I'm going to show you guys. <sighs> this is one thing that is a little bit annoying about being a world traveler if you will I find like the most amazing products around the world and then everybody wants a link and I'm like sometimes there is no link but yeah I'll still share it with you guys what I do preface with saying I've always had long hair my whole life entire life I've had long hair besides the one time I cut it because I dyed it blonde and I cut my hair um, because it was dead to like right here and then um, that was like the only time I had short hair the rest of my life I had long hair the longest it's ever been is like to my hips it's almost there again like you saw my hair is like down to my lower back hair goals I want my hair to grow to my butt then I'll probably start cutting it I don't want it to go past my butt that's a bit too long or maybe I do maybe I do maybe I do I don't know but yeah so the first tip would be something that I am doing right now so like I said Japan has the best products in the world the world you name it they have the best products they figured it out whether it's straighteners whether it's anything headphones food uh, gadgets uh, anything, anything, kitchen gadgets, I mean, whatever, they figured it out. Japan is just like an elite country, okay? Um, but there, I hate to mention this because I'm like, if you guys aren't in Japan, I don't think you can get it, but it's this right here, Pantene Pro-V Winter Rescue, and it's in Japanese, which I have been learning. Plus, I can understand it a little bit because I know Chinese. But it basically just says... I don't know if I, you guys want to see. It just basically says that you put this mask on at nighttime. It's not really a mask. It's just like a treatment. You put it on at night. It has jasmine oil and apple extracts. And, oh, and honey as well. I didn't know that. So, oh, it smells so good. I smell the apple. Um... You put it on at night, that's why she's sleeping. And you go to sleep and you wake up and if you have dry hair, you can wash it out. I mean, if you have oily hair, you can wash it out. If you have dry hair, you can leave it in, whatever you want to do. And it's just like amazing for your hair. Let me tell you, I cannot put oil in my hair when it's straight because my hair will get too oily. This has been, oh my goodness, my hair. Literally, I forgot I put this in and the next morning I woke up and I was feeling my hair and I'm like, why is my hair so soft? Why is my hair so soft? And I was like, oh, it's this. It leaves my hair so soft and not oily at all. And it like keeps your hair from like breaking at night or being frizzy. I just love this. And this is such a big bottle. I'm about to go get another one though. Yeah, anyways, I love that. 
amazing another product i want to talk about in the same breath is this pantene okay so this is just conditioner i have it in a bag because the bags here are meant to refill the bottles when your bottle runs out you just buy a bag and you re-squeeze it into it i told you japan has everything figured out i know they're not the only ones who do this but um this is just okay so i travel a lot right a lot like even within the last three months, I have been to Bangladesh, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, uh, India, Sri Lanka. I've been Hong Kong, Japan. I've been all over the place. I travel a lot. My hair is very affected by the weather. weather. Very affected by the weather. So... For like a month, my hair was not doing good. Like it felt so dry. It looked so dry. And I was like, what's going on with my hair, right? Since I travel so much and I don't always know the language of everything, I just pick up conditioner at the supermarket. And I usually grab Pantene, right? But I didn't think it was for any reason. Um, but then I stopped using it because I think I was in Kenya and I couldn't find Pantene anywhere. So I'm like, let me just not use it. My hair was freaking out when I was in Kenya, right? I leave Kenya and I go to, I don't know, somewhere, but I found the Pantene and my hair went back to normal. Like the normal soft, silky, shiny. I was like, Pantene is amazing. My curls never look the way they look. If, okay, what I'm trying to say is, this Pantene, the Pro-V conditioner okay i don't use shampoo in my hair i wash my hair with apple cider vinegar or baking soda but this pro v pantene my hair loves like when my hair is curly and i use this in my hair oh because i don't use this when my hair is straight oh my goodness you guys my hair loves it i got so used to it i didn't know that like this was like my holy grail until i stopped using it this is amazing, so no matter what country I'm in, I just look for Pantene and I look for the Pro-V little pill thingies and I buy it. I make sure it's conditioner. Um, well, I can understand this, but this is it's a treatment, a deep conditioning treatment, but it's not. This is just the conditioner. Uh, so I think that is another reason why my hair is very healthy is because if it's not straight, I have conditioner in it every single day every day i have conditioner in it um it's usually the pantene pro v conditioner so i think that's another reason why uh it just stays long oh i just cut my hair i forgot to mention that i cut my hair uh two days ago i used <laughs> i used these scissors which i bought i don't even know if they're the right ones to be honest but i cut my hair because like my i had ends that were looking <laughs> No, not good, so I cut maybe two inches. No, an inch and a half off. I cut off two days ago. So yeah, I don't know if that's important information, but I cut my hair. My um, but anyways, the next thing I'm going to say is this oil. <laughs> this is Tsubaki oil, which is very popular here in Japan. I feel like this is crooked. This is like very popular here in japan it's they have tsubaki conditioner they have tsubaki oil and i love it it's from a flower and it's a very popular hair and skin product here i believe you can find this on the internet um i don't know if you can find this exact one but tsubaki oil i think you can find on the internet i don't know yeah so this is it i've been put using this on my hair and my skin for a long time and yeah my hair loves oils my skin loves oils so i'm always trying new oils but i started using this stuff when i was in china and i stopped and i just started again so because china carries a lot of japanese beauty products so anyways i love this oil it's amazing okay something i still do is i still use rice water in my hair i have it in my spray bottle but I don't use it when my hair is straight, so it's over there somewhere in my suitcase. But I have, um, I have rice water and I use it in my hair when my hair is curly, right? 
So I put it on my scalp as like a leave-in. I use it to detangle. I use it for so many things. I use it to detangle my hair. I use it to rinse my hair. I use it to wet my hair. I use it all the time, the rice water. Been using it, right? Okay. Next thing is this oil. I bought this. When I was in Dubai, I buy these all over the world, right? Because I see them in countries like... I see them all over the Middle East and in India I saw it and in Malaysia. But anyways, this is like a hair product that has been around for ages. Middle Eastern women use it. Asian women use it. And it's basically a hair oil called amla oil. I've talked about it before. When I was in Dubai, I saw these for so cheap, so I bought like 10 of them. <laughs> and this is one of the 10, that's why it looks like it's barely used, but I've been through so many bottles of these, you guys. It's just a staple now in my hair. I don't even use it to grow my hair, it's just a staple because it has, one of the products in this is henna, that's why it's so dark. And henna dyes your hair dark, so, or if you have light hair, I wouldn't use this because it's it might make your hair, it might give your hair a tint. But it makes my hair so shiny, so soft. But the thing about this is it stains. So if you put this on at night and you go to sleep on your pillow, you will wake up with a dark green pillow. Because the color is kind of dark green a little bit because of the henna. Anyways, it has, no, because of amla. Amla fruit is green. So it stains green. This is what the amla fruit looks like. That little green... That's a picture of the amla fruit, or a picture they did. But the amla is something that Indian Middle Eastern people use on their hair for growing and for health. So, yeah, this says, makes your hair long, strong, and dark. Is that what it says? It says, makes your hair long, strong, and dark. Yeah, that's what it does. It's amazing. I can't really tell you, if you use this, your hair is going to grow this and this much. I don't really know, because I've been using this for so long. I don't, I haven't been tracking any progress or anything like that, but I do know that my hair loves this. It makes my hair so shiny. Like, one question I get asked all the time from people in public is, how was your hair so shiny? How do you get the shine on your hair? This is it. Also, keeping your hair hydrated at all times, but this is it. Drinking a lot of water helps, too. <laughs> but this part, so... The last thing I'm going to mention is, <laughs> this thing is so messy. Okay, this is, it looks crazy. Can you see that? If you guys watch my vlogs from Sri Lanka, you would have seen that I bought this in Sri Lanka. It is hair oil. It's from the red coconut, which can only be found in Sri Lanka. It's a red coconut, and it's called Red Coconut... It's called King Coconut Oil. Right. So the woman in Sri Lanka used that. It's got all this stuff in it that's good for your hair. Some black seeds. I forget. You can go back to my Sri Lanka vlogs and the man explains it in the video. But the women in Sri Lanka have very, 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 very long hair. And he told me the secret is that oil. I don't know if he was lying or not. Um, but I did see them using it. And they said that in Sri Lanka, the men go bald like right here you know how a lot of men go bald start balding right here they said the men use that on these two areas because they don't want to go bald there and i didn't see any of the men with this and he said that's because um the men that were there he said that's because we use this on like this area because the men don't want to go bald there as they get older and all the men there had thick you know a thick hairline everything like that and he said every night massage this on your scalp and it it really feels good like when I was massaged that oil on my scalp like I feel my scalp like circulating which is amazing circulation means blood flow means growth and health so I can understand how it makes sense it really like cir it gets your blood circulating on your scalp so that equals hair growth um yeah basically I use that and I, as you can see I'm almost finished it um that's something else I've been doing. Other than that, I don't do anything else. What do I do? That's my conditioner. This is a treatment I've been doing that I love. I've been using this for a long time. Sugaki oil I've been uh, using for a long time. Love it. My hair doesn't like too much oil when it's straight. But when it's curly, my hair loves lots of oil. Oh yeah. Olive oil is a staple 
Again, my hair, my skin loves oil. I always use olive oil. If I'm not using the Tsubaki oil, I'll use olive oil or... I haven't used coconut oil in a long time. My hair is just not a huge fan of coconut oil, as it is of some other oils. But this king coconut oil, it loves, but not regular, you know, other coconut oil. But that's basically it. I feel like this video is all over the place. I feel like this video I was talking all over the place but that's basically what I do um some comments I think I might get are someone who's trying to grow their hair long what should they do I say while you're trying to grow your hair don't use heat I straighten my hair like three four times a year I take care of my hair every other day of the year so like 360 four, 361 days of the year my hair is being loved and taken care of um maybe four times i'll straighten my hair out of the year my hair is perfectly fine with that but as somebody who has unhealthy hair and is trying to grow their hair i would say stop the heat altogether. and i would say moisturize your hair every day with something and then i would say don't shampoo your hair even if you have like Caucasian hair and you're trying to grow it or you have you know oily hair I would say stop washing your hair so much honestly use like a dry shampoo I love this dry shampoo you guys from Colab it's dry shampoo I use this when my hair gets too oily use a dry shampoo or don't wash your hair too often like as l little as few don't wash your hair a lot. It's not good for your hair. I mean with a shampoo. So you're stripping your hair of um, all the necessary oils. It needs to grow and be healthy. So, and I would say drink lots of water. I drink a ton of water every day. I probably drink two or three of these a day. I just finished another one. I drink lots of water. Lots and lots of water. And I eat healthy. So I think what's on the inside reflects out. I think that, yeah. So, that's all for today's video. Um, let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for now. I'm about to film another video in two seconds, so that's why I'm kind of like rushing. I'm about to film a Q&A video, so yeah, stay tuned for that video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys, bye!